question. One of the major areas that was, was massive confusion is in Kisumu. In fact, we want to give you a roundup of what happened there after the incumbent governor, that's Jack Ranguma, was declared the winner. So was the incumbent senator, that's uh, Anyang Nyong. And then people are still wondering who is who now. And Uko Kusa was there to find out, of course, his, his report he filed earlier on. Kisumu West, 12,400. At Thurdiboro Secondary School in Nyakach, Tom Okongo, the county returning officer makes an announcement. Then we count of Professor Anyang Nyongo, who got 22,000 votes in Seme, Nyakai 21, Nyan 9,500, Muroni 8,600, Kisumu Central 52,510, Kisumu West 26,200, Kisumu East 24,200. That is 164,108. According to Okongo's provisional results, Nyongo's closest challenger, Jack Ranguma, garnered 91,480 votes, while Hezron Makobewa became third with 62,670 votes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to call the meeting to end as this is the only report I was here to give. And I said clearly that these are professional re 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 returns. Many more will come. Thank you. But no sooner had Okongo called to an end his media briefing than his deputy Richard Kiondi took to the floor at Aga Khan Hall in Kisumu town to declare victory to Governor Ranguma. Chris Anyang Nyongo got 32,028. Hezron Otieno Makobewa got 47,930 votes. Aomo Asaka Nyangara got 11,936. Jack Nyanungo Ranguma got 118,934. Christopher. <laughs> Governor Ranguma insisted that the results released by Kiondi reflected the true will of the people of Kisumu. As, as contest, contestants, we've never had an opportunity to share with the returning officers for them to take us through, including the one who was announcing today, Professor Nyangnyo. I, I, I don't know if you looked at the papers he had on his hands and, uh, and where he was doing the announcements in deep down in, in a school in Nyakaj. I'm sure it was fake. Jack Yanungo Ranguma, Governor. Governor! However, Makobewa rejected both results and asked the Orange Party's National Election Board to take disciplinary action against his opponents. I think it's a mockery of democracy and a